Damn it! He's yeah. dead. He, I didn't accidentally murder a mole. You're right, that was some other management company. <laughs> but you stood there, killed one person, started killing the other person, and then he was at least, I think he was like 60 years old, 60 something years old when he got stabbed at that. Hello, anybody here? Hello? Well, somebody's in there. Pretty sure. Pretty sure? Pretty sure. Did you see him? Saw a light turn on. When the this state the fails the citizens, mine. and this people are like, hey, this guy's a little crazy, he's making everyone feel a little uneasy, he might hurt somebody, and the state's just like, eh, and he kills two people. It's fine. Good job. Even that. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do, and now I feel like taking off, find a place with the view, the pain is never gonna it looks like his eyes are closed, his tail's real short. Yeah, also it's nice. He's gonna get smushed if you don't hurry up. Save him, Matt. I mean, I don't know what to do with him. Save him, Matt. Oh, bro. It's like a baby. I feel bad. That is definitely a mole. Go that way. Go that way. Yeah, its eyes aren't like fully open. It's so it's this we won't. <laughs> I just don't got nothing to like scoop him up and throw. Give me that sign. Yeah, like I want to put him that way. So put him like behind the house. Get ran over. <clears throat> put him somewhere in the yard, I guess. Hope the wind almost took it. Watch, he's gonna fucking jump off of it. Suicide by sign. Damn it! He's he okay? dead. No, he's okay. No, no he's, he's not dead. Okay. You think he's dead? He's dead. He's not gonna make it. I just snapped his little back. What? He fell? Yeah. Nah, dude. They're really when no. creatures are that small. No, dude. Survive. He's not. He's not gonna make it. He's dead, dude. It doesn't look good. He's dead. Fuck. <laughs> now I'm an asshole. I just fucking. Well, at least he can die peacefully over here. All right. Maybe we've seen worse. Well, you guys witnessed a murder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I missed most of it. Oh, wait. Yeah, he's all yeah. fucked up because I dropped him. His brains are all scrambled. <laughs> and speaking of people's brains being scrambled. Yeah, fuck. I was going to do one right here and one like right around here. Uh. I don't think he's. I don't think he's okay. <laughs> I didn't mean to drop him. You yeah, guys. Remember that time Matt tried doing a good deed, but then he ended up just murdering it? Yeah, it happens a lot. You know, maybe that's what that guy was doing in Montana or Maine or wherever. Oh yeah, we'll talk about that. No, he was not doing a good deed. He was not being nice and putting those people out of their misery. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Well, as soon as he fell and he like, it was like, and then his little heart started beating all fast. He's probably like, what the hell? I can't. I imagine a fall like that for him is like falling off the Empire State Building. No, dude. No. Small animals are okay with like well, big drops. Yeah, because of their uh, terminal velocity. I know that, but still. Terminal. Yeah, terminal velocity is the maximum speed that they can gain while falling in. So they fall slower. The larger the animal, the more harmful falls are. Although it's funny because like squirrels, squirrels can are, fall off trees fall. at the very top, hit the ground, and be fine. Yeah. So the fucking weak ass mole should just live that fall. Maybe if that mole wasn't such a weak ass. He'll be okay. Yeah, I didn't I'm kill him. Pick him up. Yeah, I didn't accidentally murder a mole. You're right. That was some other management company. <laughs> I just saw him. Yeah, he's still twitching and stuff, and like occasionally he has a little spurt, but I think it's end days. I think it's end days. Well, if he wants his end days, he can have his end days back yonder, because that's where I'm going to take him. We can have a small service, say a couple words. Might end up on YouTube. Yeah. Say a couple two tree words. A couple two tree words for our dead mole friend. What are we going to name him? 
He seemed he seemed wholesome. He seemed like a Leslie. He seemed kind of wholesome. Leslie the <laughs> Leslie the Molesome Moles. Ah, Mojo Jojo, the blind mole rat. All right, let's go inside and do some photos and stuff. Good luck out here. You want to see the rest of it? Well, don't do it till we're done. I gotta film this. Oh, you nobody grabbed me the light. You might not make it that long. I need the light. Dark. Because there's like no light in there. I think you gotta save it. Can you pop your trunk? They never brought me the light. Yeah. I'm out here one man gang in this. Filming for the YouTubes. And then, so, that murder thing we were talking about is a, uh, happened in Maine, I believe in 2021 where this family who owned like a I don't know what it's called like a uh, like a multi-unit apartment complex something like seven or eight buildings or not buildings units and they let this guy stay there and he uh, he ended up being a real crazy person he do weird shit he was threatening other tenants and then one day hello anybody here hello we just uh we just witnessed him take his last Der Der hello Derek said, Derek said it was uh weird. i think he already went inside i don't think so no he did he did I, i'm pretty sure well somebody's in there pretty, pretty sure pretty sure pretty sure did you see him saw a light turn on Maybe it's Derek just the fuck. <laughs> oh, Derek's right there. But anyway, so... I put that mole. Fun. That's a good spot for him, probably. Well, he's dead now, so... We saw his little heart stop beating. Aw, oh, man. Well, anyway, speaking of heart stops beating, this family took in this crazy dude. <laughs> and he was, he was paying rent for a while, and he was acting kind of funky. But then, uh... Hello? Oh my, we're here to film. Maybe not. Maybe I'm crazy. Am I just losing my mind? You scared yourself talking about death. Yeah, I was talking about that, but... Speaking of death, back to it, the family took the guy in. He was living in one of their units, and after a while, everything was like, okay, but eventually he started acting weird, and then one day, one of the other tenants called the cops on this dude, and he was, can't remember everything from the news article, but I'm sure they'll link it below, but he, uh, he like threatened one of the other tenants, so they called the cops, the guy who owns the place. Jeez Louise, what the fuck is going on here? The guy who owns the place told the cops when they came that like, this dude's wild. He, you know, if you let him go, he's probably gonna hurt somebody. Why is the floor so slippery? I don't know, you can't go in the bathroom though. You're, there's holes in the ground. Okay. So I'm just standing in the doorway. Pop camera in. Okay, but long story short, the cops don't take him, they let him go, and later that night, the daughter of the guy and lady who owned the apartment complex was woken up to screaming, and when she went to go check on it, the fellow was in there, and he had stabbed their mother, and he was in the process of killing her father when... Well, he was in the process of doing it, and the guy was fighting him off. <clears throat> he was fighting him off, 
<sighs> and unfortunately he didn't succeed, so he ended up dying. The daughter, the guy was taken away by the cops. This happened in 2021, but just recently he was found, I believe it's criminally insane in Maine, or something similar to that where he's basically not guilty of the murder because he's insane. And, oh, I know what that was. What? It's dripping in the bathroom. There's something dripping. Oh, that's what you heard? That's what I heard. But, yeah, he's found criminally unfit to stay in trial. So he's sent to a halfway house for the rest of his life where he essentially, with AIDS, is allowed to walk the street. When I read this, my initial thought was, that could happen to me mid-month every month. Like, I could show up to a place where I'm posting a three-day, even if I know the person. Mm -hmm. Like, what's stopping them from just coming out and uh, shooting me a bunch of coming times? Coming out in a rage. It could, right. It could just be one bad thing after another for him in that day, and then just that notice getting stuck on the door. Yeah. Make him snap. We have people come up. We've had people come up and, like, screaming at our office, banging yeah. on the door, hitting the windows and stuff. But... Yeah, I thought about it for a while and was like, you know, I can't believe that the justice system there is so bad that this guy was just allowed to basically be free. And... Super liberal state, that's usually what happens. And, in time, he will be moved to an actual halfway house where he just needs to check in and out during the day. He just has his hours and he'll be free to do whatever he wants. Well, this lady... Is paying for therapy every week because you know she witnessed yeah, her parents sure be no murdered. Help her pay for that. No. Nope. This other guy's gonna be taken care of for the rest of his life. He murdered two people, and then he can go and do whatever he do wants. Whatever he wants. It's absolutely insane, and I don't know. Like, how on earth do you, does a state, even a super liberal state, justify letting somebody like that even live? Like, how do you let somebody who took two lives forcefully... In a fit of rage. Yeah. And it was a violent rage. Violent rage. Like, he didn't just go blast them. He was stabbing them to death. Yep. Stabbing them to death. But I, I don't... It gives you time to think what you're doing as you're doing it. You I can shoot it. someone and it'll be done in a second. Yeah, I, or even if you stab somebody once... And then immediately was like, oh my god, what have I done? This is Stop, a bad idea. Call the cops, whatever. I might have a little bit of sympathy for you. But you stood there, killed one person, started killing the other person, and then he was at least, I think he was like 60 years old, 60-something years old when he got stabbed to death. And he was strong enough to hold this guy off while being stabbed the cops got there. Now he later died. He was rushed to the hospital alive. The mom died like in the house. But The whole thing makes you think that we do this. We do shit like that every day. Our, pers our faces are out there. Our personal information for the most part is out there. What's stopping somebody it could. from doing that to us? The, one of the bailiffs we know got into a shootout oh, yeah. off of what was like Madison or maybe it was Detroit. Yeah. But you know and we have gone to multiple evictions, have conversations with this guy. Yeah. We're acquaintances. We might, I mean, I might call us friends. I don't know if he would. But. but he's definitely traumatized. Like, the last eviction I went to with him, he was definitely jittery. Oh, yeah. Than he had been before. At uh, 41st. Yeah. What do you think, Pete? What's your thoughts on the whole thing? Kill him. It's not great. Stab I mean, him. Is that great? No, it's, it's just a fucked up situation. More murder. I think, honestly, in some cases... He should be at a he, psych ward. Yeah. Or, or, or dead. Yeah. Yeah. These days. Or dead. Like, I feel like if you kill two people that brutally, you should get killed. <laughs> I mean, some folks are not so capital punishment prone. I don't even prone. know if that's... Ca I mean, yeah, it's capital punishment, but it's like... At least I don't stab you to death. Like, you get to be put to sleep, and then you gently He's drift playing. off to death. <sighs> yeah. This is why I didn't want to talk about this. I'm all worked up now. Now I'm all pissed off about it. Because when I read it, I was like, fuck, dude, I have a family. Like, 
at some point I plan on doing this on my own, owning houses, collecting my own rents. Like, if you have a property manager, maybe they'll get stabbed to death. <laughs> well, I guess I'll stay with Holton Lines then. I'll use them as my yeah, property leave manager. Them to the professionals. Let me go see if Derek cares about this. He probably doesn't. He, I think he's about to put the drone away. So he's yeah. probably right. He doesn't give a fuck. So the only real motive that they had, yes, it was retaliation from him being having the cops called on him the morning that morning because he was threatening uh, one of the tenants in the building that they owned. I hate when people do this. Don't throw grease out your window. Well, but but why? Forward. I wish hell on you. That makes me think of that lady. I remember when we had the one in issues with the Lakewood lady. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to court and she's already not very nice. And I had to tell her I had to tell her that it's not okay. The city called. They want you to stop throwing grease out your window. She lost her fucking mind on me. She's we had like, screenshots, didn't she say? Uh, yeah, she texted us. She, say she said she wished hell on us. Nothing but hell. I wish hell upon you or something. Uh, and then she said something else crazy. Oh no, the new light is dead. Oh, don't tell Tommy. Yeah, Tommy, Shh. cut that out. All right, let's go get Derek's opinion. We've been chit chatting about this for like 15 minutes. D Rock, how do you feel about when crazy people kill people? <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, I'll explain to the story to you short, you know, short. So there's a... A news article? Yes. So what happened with that again? Okay, so in April of 2021, okay. this lady's, uh, she's the daughter of the two people that own the, the property that this happened at. She okay. lived with her parents on a farm just down the street from the property. Okay. They rented to a young man who... Sketchy, you know, he didn't have the greatest pass, but they were like they took a gamble. They took a gamble So they My put him on checks work people So they put him in one of their bigger buildings where he was right down the road from them and he started Causing problems with one of the long-term tenants. So the guy was he made it was multi. I think it's six unit Oh, I think they don't tell you in the article, but they allude to the fact multi that there unit. are multiple people in this one unit Okay. and uh so the guy goes down there because he gets the call from his long-term tenant and he confronts him and he's like, hey man, you got to stop. This can't keep going on. Long story short, it escalates. Uh, the dude's like talking all kinds of craziness, saying he's going to call the cops or uh, saying he's going to retaliate, kill him. I'm going to get you. His cops get there. They take both sides of the story and they end up letting the guy go. The dad says something happens to us, to anybody tonight, it's your fault. Long story short, the lady who the story is written about is woken up to screaming in the middle of the night. She goes into her parents' bedroom. The guy had already stabbed her mom five or six times, was in the process of stabbing her father to death. Did her, they say why or he was just pissed off? He was just mad. They didn't like raise the rent or anything? Didn't say that they raised the rent, though, if you do own a building, if you're not actually raising the rents on your tenants, you're missing out on Yeah, what are you doing? You're missing out. But you got to be good about it. Like, you need So they didn't state, like, a reason for him to attack him? He just... he just was mad that the dude called the cops on him. First of all, I feel like that's a police issue. The police did get involved. Yeah, they yeah. Could... What are you, why are you not arresting the guy? Because they, they can... didn't give a fuck. Don't you think they can sue the, uh, the police, department the department the department. for wrongful yeah. death or That's something? It's like that Jeffrey Dahmer Probably. shit, like you mentioned. They just yeah. let the kid go and then he, you know. Yeah, and he thing. gets murdered. If you have like multiple people being like, hey, this guy. Is an issue. Yeah, why do you not do something about that? You're just going to let him. But That's it's. What, I'd be curious to know, yeah, if anything happened to like any of that. So the, yeah, was there any buildup? Probably not. The, uh, no, it didn't seem like, reading the article, it doesn't really seem like there was a That's lot that know. happened like before. Did you just snap? I feel like there's, like, yeah, he was just crazy. I need a 10-part I mean, podcast series now. on this story. It's there very, will be like, one. It's very vague. Like, I feel like there has to be more. Yeah, what's the, give me all the deets. To it. Like, something's, you're leaving something. something. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, people don't just kill people, but. 
Sometimes people do and, just kill people. Well, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that happens like a lot. That's sometimes like people do. Just the main people. reason why people kill people. Yeah. Maine strikes me as a state that's quite liberal. This is in Maine. Light on crime. Yeah, it's in Maine. Maine seems like a light on light, light on, on crime, crime. Like they. Like they don't have a lot of crime. Like I've, I yeah. think the issue is they don't have a lot of crime. Yeah. I think they don't have a lot of crime, and then when yeah. something happens, they're like. They don't this know how to cool. act. What do we do? We have to like put this dude away from life? What? But I was telling these Let's guys, go. they didn't. They just, they put him in like a facility for criminally insane or whatever. And he gets... You're he, like tied to a wall or something? He currently gets outside time. He gets outside time. Oh. He's, the facility though, or like he's allowed out supervised? with two handlers right now. <laughs> out into the... Yeah, out into the world. Yeah, I mean, if you're just going to be killing people, like... But I was telling these guys, Even I was like... They, go ahead. See, like, that's just too soon. Like... It's, it's only been two years. Yeah. Like, doesn't, don't they usually release people who are criminally insane after, like, 40 years? Well, they shouldn't release anybody who's criminally insane, first of all. Jot, Jot that, that down. down. Um, he's criminally insane. What's he going to do? Just buy a house from me? He can rent from us. Yeah. We'll rent from him. Not if we do it. In seven, in in seven to uh, ten years. So, <laughs> yeah, shows up in his background. One question I have not. is... He was criminally insane, so he didn't go to jail? He did not go to jail. He was, fi- he was found... Is on his record? He was found unfit to stand trial. But if I run a background check on him, is probably it be not. Like, hey, you fucking murdered someone. Probably not going to come up. How? You How? Someone's? But yeah. he's telling these guys, it would come up because the file would. Yeah, there's got to be a record. There, it never went. To, it didn't like go to court. He was found unfit. So I mean, maybe yeah, but the true. record of it being it filed, on, maybe. Yeah, it would still be on record. As a but there's a chance that it could be and like. But it's a chance that it could be sealed because it. That doesn't make sense. You should just be able to run a background check if on him, and it should just give you something back that goes, he's fucking insane, how don't run into him. Okay, got it, cool. He was he was found unfit to stand trial. Feels yeah. like he's, like, unfit to be part of the, our society, then. Well, he will be soon. <laughs> he will be in society sooner than later. Well, what do you think happens if he kills again? You think they're going to be like, uh, maybe he's we insane. should do that. What are you going to do? Hey, don't hey. Remember, maybe we shouldn't release someone who just killed two people Well, two that's years. what I'm saying. Like, If he's, if you're going to list him or label him as criminally insane, I feel like you don't just give him his things and go, oh, yeah, yeah they don't really Good tell luck. you like what. What do you do with that? Unfit to stand trial for himself, but he can go back out and Yeah, he's that's what it was. He was unfit like, to stand trial, yeah. Uber, Uber Eventually. Just, like... Eventually, he'll be allowed out. He's gonna have to talk to a shrink. I don't think he get like full like. I don't know, man. I, just I don't know. I'm mad, dude. I don't, I don't know. Think he it happens. Just, like, full, <laughs> I'm mad, dude. Really <laughs> you don't sound very mad. <laughs> I mean, that's how can you know? There are you some stats. That? You just murder yeah, two people. Like, okay, hey, you know, just be out there murdering like, people. What are you gonna do? <laughs> take my meds. Oh, here I go kill him again. Just, yeah. You know. Hope I don't get kill and rage kill more people. <laughs> but like, I, I, get I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That shit could happen to us. Kill. How many multi-unit buildings do we have? Well, there could have been a crackhead with a rusty knife in there. I thought there was a yeah, crackhead with a rusty knife in there. Yeah, it made me go in first. <laughs> Moral of the story. Yeah. I like popped my head and I thought I heard something. Now I was like, oh, is today the day? We don't yeah, no, it was the water dripping in the bathroom because it got me too. I thought too. the fan was going too because there was a light on, so I thought maybe the ceiling fan was on. Because there was like flickering in the background. Yeah, I'm like, there's like somebody click, in click. here, dude. I was like, <laughs> it's too small though. I was like, no, I can't do it. But I guess. You I never guess, know. That's the problem. I guess the reason I bring it up is like, how does that make you feel about like what we do? I mean, yeah, I'm dude. not. Like, think about when we're out in the streets. You can go post a three day notice and get shot in the back. Well, yeah. On your way back just, to your car. You gotta pick the wrong person on the wrong day, and yeah. And That's what I was saying. It could, they it could, could, they happen, could just be having a bad day. It could happen day. in traffic on my way to post a three day notice from some random guy. Yeah. Realistically. Ah, uh, yeah. Just catch you know what I mean? Well, like, and then think about, think about where we're posting three day notices at, too. Yeah, I'm not going to Westlake. Yeah. We're not going to Beachwood. I'm going to East 43rd. Yeah, East 116th. (laughs) West 117th. Look at crime statistics. Fulton Clark Fulton. Our properties. I guarantee you it's red. (laughs) It's going to be a red map. (laughs) A lot of crime. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, you can't just like murder people, but apparently you can. You just say you're insane. Yeah. And then. You can, is that a passing of all tests or is that a failing of tests? Did he pass tests to be insane or did he fail tests to be insane? Fucking yeah, failed. that's a good point. What Somebody is the insane test? Do you fail the test to be insane or do you pass I wish the test you have to, to pass insane. the test? Yeah, he's insane. I, I wish it. they posted sort of photos under. of like the guy because like yeah, well, I want to know what insane looks he got, like. He like crazy eyes and shit. I, you might take one look at the guy and be like, yeah, no. Is he just wearing like. Is, is, is he yeah. eyes? 
Yeah, if I saw the guy and I was like, you really rented you to that can, guy, that's kind of on you, dude. You kind of look at him and like... <laughs> well, I think the... They start the, giving these the like, draw line is usually if there's some sort of, like, deliberation. Yeah. So if he, like, feels like a fit of rage, but then afterwards you talk to him or whatever and he's just, like, completely normal and presentable... Yeah, that might have been like, crazy. Like, that might be, like, a case, but otherwise, yeah, like, I don't really know. Like, how do you... How do you determine Because you know how many, like, no serial killer ever got off on being criminal. Yeah, like, why wouldn't... Well, that's be because it takes a lot of smarts well, to yeah. try to cut yeah, people exactly. up. Yeah, only had that's gain. Yeah. So that's because he was, like... Super Took dumb. Some really dumb. Bottom of the barrel. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> All right. Well, so, so I guess what we, we found so is that happens when the state fails, when the state the fails the citizens, time. and this people are like, "Hey, this guy's a little crazy. He's making everyone feel a little uneasy. He might hurt somebody." And the state's just like, "Eh," and he kills two people. It's fine. Good job. Even man, after man. he kills two people, they're like, "It's fine, dude." So the moral of the story know. is, don't kill people. <laughs> Actually, that's really it. And if you do it, be crazy. Yeah, please insanity. Moral <laughs> story: Don't uh, don't, don't rely on the state to prevent you from getting murdered. Yeah. <laughs> Moral <laughs> story: Arm yourself. Oh, that's when you gotta pop the arm yourself. You can't do that. <laughs> Yo, Yo Mike. Hey, I know a guy that works with us Thank who uh, may or may not have drawn down on a crackhead. <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't hey, Vince. For real. For real, it wasn't me. It wasn't Vince, and I'm not going to oust anybody, but I kind of wish I had a camcorder that day. Me and John. <laughs> Cops were involved in it. The man was criminally... Crimi the person who pulled the gun may or may not have been criminally insane as well, so... <laughs> yeah, it's still up there. <laughs> He's a nice guy, but huh? criminally insane. Yeah, what are you doing, man? I don't fucking know. Long I'm tired. I'm full of hot chicken. I'm full, I'm full, of, ch I'm full, of, chicken I'm full of chicken and biscuits, boy. All right, fellas, that's it from. Chicken and cron. Everybody say bye. We're bye leaving Cron. Leaving the Cron. Head back to Sea Town. One shit hook to another. How's this thing work? How's this thing on? Huh? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.